Megabytes. Hello and welcome back to Alation Data Catalog and Data Governance Tool Review Series. In this video, we will be looking at data profiling as a dimension. We will be looking at column statistics, null count, duplicate distinct count, data patterns, business domains, keys and data relationship identification that Alation can generate as a part of data profiling. We will start with our data source hash map that we have configured for this exercise. We'll go on to the schema web sales curated. Continuing further, we will go into the table customer. As you can see at a table level, we can see the number of columns, samples, filters, joins, lineage and queries. These are tabs or properties available for you to look at the data at a table level. We'll continue with our data profiling exercise and look at the first name as an example. Now we can see that the page says the column has never been successfully profiled. We can click the run profile and it kind of sends a query back to the source database in our case, which is Snowflake. It will probably take a while. However, this feature of not running all the profiles on a database and all columns at once is a key feature of Alation. Remember, running the profile on all the databases, tables, and columns at once. One, they will block your database resources. Two, they will consume huge credits. And three, the profiles will quickly go stale if we do not need to refer to those profiles immediately at that moment. Hence, running the profiles as and when you need it is a good option that Alation provides. It says refresh the page. And here we go. We see the profile has successfully completed. It says that there are 184 occurrences of the first name named Robert, similarly 143 of James and so on and so forth. I can sort this frequency to see what are those unique names in my database and I see all those with just one occurrence of it. Now probably first name is a column which is mandatory hence we don't see any nulls but if the data has nulls it will tell, tell us how many rows for this particular column has those null values. Now looking at this we can see we can we see the frequency but it's not at a table level where you can get the direct information as to how many nulls are there present in a column A, column B or column C versus how many total distinct counts are present. We can actually use Alation Analytics to get that answer for us. So this is the data profiling. Let's see another column. I go back onto a customer table. I'll look at the column one more time and let's take a look at the column birth year. Again, here you see the birth year column has been profiled already and the frequency counts have been mentioned. You can again sort on the frequency count to see what are the different years with minimal and maximum frequency. And here you can see there were almost 85 rows which did not have the birth year column populated. Going back to our initial slide of data profiling. Yes, the Alation gives us column statistics. Yes, we can see total null counts. Duplicate distinct counts are given by the fact based on the frequency 
patterns business domain and key relationship of data and their relationship is are not certain features that alation provides at this moment that's all for data profiling thank you for watching hashmap megabytes